howdy ho, and welcome to me. Me with things to say, stuff and things. Um, I am on my way home. It is Wednesday. Today is one of my long days. Monday, Wednesday, Friday are my long days. Um, and I am on my way home from teaching my third class of the day, and I'm freaking exhausted, but I just had an awesome super, um, like, inspiring, get the blood pumping moment with a student, and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's one of my favorite conversations to have with students, um, and I thought it would make a really good topic to talk about with y'all. So, a student came up to me after class today, after everyone else had left, he had left the room and then he came back. And he said, there's something I wanted to ask you, okay? And he's like, you know, you said something last week about, like, your life choices or whatever. He's like, and I wanted to ask you what you meant by that, if you could clarify things. So, I don't know the context of, I don't remember what I had said exactly or what the context was, but I kind of explained to him why, like, my life choices have led me to be frustrated with my life choices. Uh, career-wise. And he's like, okay, yeah, I understand that. It makes sense. Um, and some of you guys might be thinking, you know, that's not appropriate to talk to your students about, or, you know, it's none of their business. And that might be true, but guys, if I'm being honest, and we all know Felicia's always honest, if I'm being honest, I think that it's really important for students to realize, for people in general to realize that, you know, we're real life human beings and we have experiences and that we are relatable. And I think it's important to share those things. So, plus, guys, hi, I have a vlog. I make YouTube videos and I talk about my life. Clearly, I'm an oversharer. This is what I do. Um, so this particular student, he's like, okay, well, I appreciate you explaining that to me. Um, you know, here's why I asked you. And he was telling me that his career goals, he would like to um, be a successful real estate agent. And that right now his, he's in college because he's thinking about getting a marketing degree to market himself in the field of real estate. And he asked me my opinion because he's struggling to decide if he should continue on and get a marketing degree or if he should just go right into real estate and get his real estate license and start doing that. And I answered him kind of in two different ways. I mean, I told him obviously getting a degree is going to, you know, add to your marketability. Um, head to merge onto the freeway. I told him that the degree would add to his marketability and that it could potentially help him in the long run, but that it's not necessary. And I'm like, you can go out there and you can be a successful real estate agent and have the career you want, have the life you want, have the success you want without a college education, without a marketing degree. Um, and I'm like, if you decide five, 10 years, 15 years down the road, working in real estate, that you're ultimately not getting the return on your investment that you wanted, that it's not the career you had envisioned, there's nothing stopping you from going back to school. Get that marketing degree, add to your resume, or just get a whole new career cares. Um, and he was telling me that his parents, who are both college educated, um, are really pushing him to get this college degree and do that first. And he, he didn't seem to really want to do that. He seemed to be really apprehensive about that idea and not like the idea of you know, not starting in his career until his, you know, maybe like he's 30, depending on how long it takes him through college and, you know, doing the real estate classes. So I flat out told him, 
that he does not need to be in college. <laughs> and I laugh because I'm a college professor. Um, retention, getting students to enroll in school and stay in school and graduate from school is a huge aspect of my job. Um, colleges and universities rely on their faculty to get people there and to stay there. Um, you don't just necessarily go to a college because it's a good college. It's a good college because of the people who are teaching it. So that's part of my job is to aid in retention. And here I am telling students, you don't need to be here. <laughs> but I think it's important and I, I pushed this student in the direction that I did, keeping in the back of my mind Gary Vaynerchuk, who I also told the student to go listen to and follow, um, that there, you don't need a degree to do certain things. Um, you don't need to be middle-aged to find success. Um, that if you are ready to go work and you are ready to go into your field and kick ass and take names, then what are you waiting for? If he knows what he wants to do, if this student knows, I want to be a successful real estate agent, then what is he waiting for? Take those classes, get his um, real estate license, and get working. I told him, one of the first bits of advice that I gave him was actually to just find some names of real estate agents in his area um, and contact them and be like, hey, uh, what, are, what, are, what are your career advice, what, what kind of advice would you have for someone who wants to do what you do and be successful at it? Um, you know, that's not something you're going to get in a classroom. It's not something that there's going to be a class that can teach you. That's going to be something you have to go out and find. So I, I'm really hoping that he listens to Gary Vaynerchuk, first of all, um, because I think that Gary V is super motivating and helpful and has excellent advice to give young people who want to be successful. So I'm hoping he does that, and I'm very much looking forward to a follow-up from him. I think maybe in a week or two, I'll send him an email, and I'll ask him um, how things are going in that department. Because, obviously, I believe that education is important and valuable, but education is not necessarily sitting in a college classroom getting a college degree. Um... And I don't want to be the kind of professor who has an inflated self of self, an inflated sense of self importance um, when I know that what I'm teaching and what I'm doing might not apply to someone in all walks of life. So I don't know, I'm feeling like weirdly motivated for telling a student he doesn't need to be in college. And I wanted to share that with you guys because it's really actually, like, I desperately mean it. Like, I, I wholeheartedly believe that this student can finish out this semester because, honey, you already paid for it. Finish out this semester, enroll in real estate classes, get a real estate license, and in three years be far more successful and far, in a far better place than if he had waited until after he finished a four-year college degree to then go do the real estate stuff and get established. Again, the big thing is why wait? Why put off tomorrow what you can do today? And if today you can start being a successful real estate agent, then why wait? Why wait until you have an additional piece of paper? It's not necessary. Um, so that's my advice. That's my my mission. My, well, not my mission, my like whatever. It's what I'm saying to you today. It is my topic of conversation. Um, so I'm really over caffeinated. No, I'm not. I'm not. I think I'm crashing from caffeine. Anyways, I hope you guys have the best day ever. I'm going to focus on my driving and getting my butt home. My week is happy.
half over and I am so stoked. So, like, I'm hyped to just self-care for the rest of the day. Um, I love you guys. Have the absolute best day ever. Mostly because I said so, but also because you